All right, morning everybody. Back up here with Ambush this morning. Just got her saddled up. Gonna do a little groundwork here with her. Make sure my saddle's fitting okay. And I'm gonna go right into seeing about getting a second ride put on her. We did pretty well yesterday. When I first got on her, she had a little bit of sticky feet problems and pack and weight problems and she kind of went down on the front end on me. Which they sometimes do, they, you know, pull into that cinch and they kind of lose their air a little bit. And, but we were able to just jump down and regroup a little bit. And, get her back up, move her around, readjust, get back up on the rail and get back on her and continue on with no real issues from it. So that was a good thing. She didn't lose her mind and we didn't lose control and we got things handled and ended up with a pretty decent first ride on her. She's a little bit weak in her build and she's having a little trouble moving her feet and getting going initially but she'll figure that out as we go and be able to get better at getting her feet underneath her and, and getting going so I'm not going to do as much preparatory groundwork this morning with her with the rope around her hindquarters or anything we're just going to kind of make sure she's listening to me and paying attention and and perhaps use a little bit of this cooler weather cooler weather energy that she's got to put it to better use. Quit trying to run into me. She's still got some issues of coming in once in a while. And I'm going to start getting a little tougher on that as we go. You guys got to bother every damn thing that I put out here. All righty, let's get over here and see if we can use a little of this energy this morning in a constructive way. Most of the time, our second rides get get going better because they've got a, a little bit of an idea on how things work. They're not quite as tentative. And sometimes they just kind of move out. Sometimes they get themselves a little bit balled up and want to really go get themselves going but we'll see what today brings with her She's a little more feisty today than what she was yesterday. A little less tentative. So we're going to hopefully be able to use that energy constructively here. Let's 
and she walked off a little quicker than I wanted her to there. I didn't get my foot in the stirrup right off the bat, but that's okay. Continue to work on getting her turned around here a little bit, move her hindquarters. She seems like she's more willing to keep her head up and walk this morning and figure things out. So hopefully we'll get some good movement out of her today and get her walking around here. Today I want to keep a better eye on her not getting so spraddled out like she did yesterday and keep her feet underneath her more and let her start figuring out how to go and keep her head up a little bit more. And I'm going to get a little more active with my feet here too as we're doing this and get her used to feeling them. And Figuring out when I squeeze, that means go forward. Good girl. <clears throat> Keep your head up. Sometimes on these first couple of rides, they'll be pretty lethargic on the first one, like she was yesterday. And then on the second one, she's a little bit familiar with things and more comfortable, but then she gets herself a little distracted, or I start getting a little more active and they get a little jumpy or they get distracted and I do something and they don't understand what it is and they jump and kind of take off and maybe give you a little hump here and there. So that's something we gotta try and watch for as we're doing this. There we go. A little bit of forward. Come on. Good girl. Starting to figure it out. See, she's still down in the front end a little bit. She wants to put her head down there a little bit too low for me and not keep herself up and underneath herself. So I want to try to be able to keep her head up more when I bend her to keep her weight set back so she can get off those front feet and move a little bit. There we go. 
that's getting better. A few tentative steps out of her. That's what we're looking for. Until she starts getting comfortable with packing a couple hundred pounds around on her back. You know, these young thoroughbreds, when they're raced at two years old, their riders weigh 100 pounds and the saddle weighs about 10. And I'm about twice that on her back, so it's a little tougher for these youngsters to figure out how to move around and get up underneath themselves and, and learn how to walk. And that's why you have to be pretty careful with these young horses too, because they're not mature physically and their bones and being able to pack around a lot of weight for a long time. And it's all real slow stuff and getting them built up and conditioned into doing this stuff. And then when they get to be three or four, they're not gonna be wrecked for the rest of their lives because they've been hammered on and busted around and charged up and down and raced and everything else and they'll still have some bone structure left by the time they're old enough to really be mature and ride. How much? All right, keep her going for another, for a bit longer. We're not gonna ride too long today on her, maybe 15, 20 minutes at the most. I've gotten the progress that I've wanted to get today. Got her to move forward a little bit more freely. Worked on her hips a little bit more. Getting some forward out of her. And it's just kind of building on one lesson at a time. She's still a little bit tentative and a little bit maybe lazy too, but that's okay. We can always brighten her up and go fast later on. It's not about going fast. It's about going good and figuring things out. as we go here. She's kind of acting like she might be a little bit ouchy on her feet too, which I don't, I'll have to keep an eye on. Maybe it was the tram or something, but I didn't notice anything real egregious or in particular, but <clears throat> it's all stuff you gotta be aware of and watch. See the bending and the flexion and moving their hind quarters, moving their front quarters, that's where the groundwork pays off on your foundation stuff because I can just pick up on that halter a little bit and she picks up and goes, yep, I get it. And even though she's a little tough on bending on the ground, it still equates to being able to bend up here a whole lot easier. And she's not real resistant on that halter. See her nose bend around there? That's all she needs to bend right now. Just to follow the direction of that lead and that halter. And keep her, keep her going forward. And 
I'll use the fence to help me with the bending and, and her hindquarters and getting her to shape up better and be able to set back more because she doesn't have the room to get all stretched out alongside the rail. Fifteen and a half, did you say? Okay. Keep her going for another couple minutes. Let me know in another couple minutes. See, I want to try and keep her to keep her head up. She want, she has a tendency to lower her head too much and I want her to keep her up where she's balanced. So I pick up on that rein a little bit, get her shoulders up. And keep continuously working on her balance. So that's what we're working on. I think we're going to probably call that a pretty good day here with her. And that was a pretty darn good little lesson with her. So that's where we're going. We'll ride again tomorrow. She'll have her day off on Friday and then maybe her owners will come back up here on Saturday and watch how she's going. See ya.